All right, welcome back. This time we're gonna play with this. Uh, ignore the squeaky chair here. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it or not, but yeah, it's squeaking. All right, now that I got most of my tools ready. Correction, I have all my tools ready now. Long hair thing else falling down around here. Got three and a half, five and a quarter. No clue what size they are. Nice little on-off button here that I like playing with all the time. All right, leave it alone. Turbo that slows the computer down. Here, reset. A little key lock here. The CD-ROM. I don't know if any of you guys remember these. Talk about old school. One of the first designs. I believe it's only a single speed. It might be a double speed, but I think it's single speed. <coughs> and yes, we actually have the keys for the key lock. Kind of unique. Got your serial ports and your printer ports. Going in and out. That's kind of cool. VGA. Looks like standard. Sound card. Modem. Yeah, that's probably going to disappear. Because I have no phone line around here. Then, your audio out. Free CD ROM. So, let's take it apart. Open her up. See what's going on with it. Why it doesn't want to work. Four screws. That's a lot of screws. Uh, take the shirt off after you unscrew. And what we have here is a lot of stuff. So we do have a hard drive. That's a plus. And 1989 AMI BIOS, keyboard BIOS. Biotech, B I O T E Q. I do see a spot for a coprocessor that is empty. Darn it. Looks like there is room for cash to be added. Well, oh, oh, we have a Nikon battery we have to get rid of. So, let's start taking things apart here. Since we have to get rid of that Nikon battery. There's no way around that. see what kind of goodies we have in here. Man, I was complaining about four screws. Well, that was long-winded. Great. That doesn't belong in there. I guess I could have left that one on there. Oh well, that screw didn't belong in there anyway. Especially since these are all fine threaded screws.
the screws later. I'll start with the video card first. Oh, well, that could be an issue. That thing wasn't even seated in right. So we got a Trident TVGA 8900 CL-B. Well, at least it has both banks of uh, memory chips on there. USA made. That's pretty cool. And I'll get rid of the modem. Maybe. Phone's coming out. Oh, that's an oldie. Wow. For what it's worth, there it is. Just stick that over there because I'm not going to use it again. Get the sound card out. Ah. Yeah, Sound Blaster Pro 2 CT1600. Pretty cool. I don't know if you guys will see it in the camera, but it's got little pencil marks going across it. Looks like that's an A1604. Or it's an A1004. Penciled on it. That's pretty cool. Nice little sound card. Be fun to recap it. See if I can increase the audio quality out of it all. Save that off the side. Here's the audio out of the CD ROM. And these came in as a kit. Yeah, it's a couple jumper wires there. Or a jumper wire on it. This thing was sold as a kit for the older computers to where you could install CD-ROM into it using the drivers included with it. Let's see if I can get that out without breaking anything. Or I'm just going to take it off of this. It's going to come out one way or another. Maybe. There we go. Walk it back and forth. There we go. Small electrical tape here holding most of the wires together. Through the form of uh, cable management there. Pull that one out, just make a little room. Nice bright white cable too. Oh, 35C. Talking to myself. Kind of your generic card there. Nothing super fancy. <coughs> now, let's connect the power cable. 
cables. From Ford. And yes, I can. Pull the screws out of here. Be able to pull the motherboard out. This case is really clean, nice and shiny. Really nice and clean. Now pull those out. You guys can see the NICAD battery, which is not leaking, which is really surprising. And our processor is a 386DX40. Well, we're cooking there. And once again, it doesn't have the uh, co-processor there. But, if I had some cache chips, I could increase the cache. So, pull this board off, get that NICAD out of there. Manufactured June 30th, 1993. And the crystal is an 80 megahertz, so that is right there with the processor. Looks like probably 4 megs of RAM, maybe more. I guess on their 1 megabyte modules. Could be wrong. Okay, we are back. I got the soldering iron heated up. Good temperature going on right now. So I'm going to heat up these two soldering joints here. Pull the NICAD out. Okay, <clears throat> now they got the NICAD battery out of there. Still very surprised it never started leaking on me. Just goes to show you, every now and then you find one diamond in the rough. So, from here, we're putting in a socket style or a button style battery holder. Now, if your center is negative, your outside is positive lined up here on the board. This one just happens to fit just right. 
Got the holes nice and cleaned out. A little bit of patience with the soldering. Fits nicely in there. It kind of protrudes a little bit, but hey, that's better than the alternative. So I'll flip this around, solder it on. As long as it holds up, stays in place while I'm soldering. It's almost where it needs something to hold it in there. Let's see. There we go. Maybe. No, that moved. This is where it gets tricky. Okay, that is in there. Bring my tip up. Start attaching. Float in there real nice. Sounds good. See, looks like it hasn't even been touched. Brand new solder. Believe it or not, this cell holder came out of an old uh, Dell computer motherboard that was getting recycled. So, right now, then I can find something to reuse on one of those, even if it is a stupid Dell. And I have my battery laying around here somewhere. I thought I did. Oh, there it is. And now we no longer have to worry about a leaking battery. So, reassemble this back together. I'm not going to bore you with that part. Uh, the only part I will show later on is how big this hard drive is or lack of. So, then we'll turn it on. Okay, so this motherboard is a Biostar, which, if you remember a few seconds back, I showed you, I don't know if you can see it right there, early Biostar logos. Kind of a funky looking six with a star in it. I think it meant more to be towards a B. That, that's what it is. Anyway, it's a uh, MB-1333 slash 40 AE A dash Q. This particular one is a harder one to find. It was one of the earlier ones. Uh, the other ones you'll find is the oh, AEU AK. So this one is a little bit harder to find anything on. I'm a little bit leery about trying to upgrade the cache because on um, Jumper 3, I'm missing a pin there. Looks like it was cut off, but I don't know if that was purposely or a revision. No uh, manual on this board, obviously. It's not one that I would trust to get. So I'm just going to leave it the way it's set up. I'm not going to mess with anything on it. This is a going to be a DOS computer for DOS Timber. Kind of the play on words there for uh, like Septandy. September of Tandy, so it was DOS Timber. Pull an old rubber band out of there. So anyway, uh, hook it all uh, back up together. 
I'm going to pull the hard drive out, like I said before, because I need to get the numbers off of there to configure the BIOS for it since the battery is long gone, dead now. I'm just glad it wasn't leaking. I was very fortunate to find it like this. Alright, we got ourselves some quality uh, hard drive here. Seagate model ST3144A. We've got the drive parameters 1001 cylinder, 15 heads, 17 sector, 130.7 megabytes. Ooh. Well, you can almost put a full CD on that one. Well, let me tell you. Okay. Moment of truth. Got it all set up. Ready to go. See if this little 386 turns on. Nope, not yet. Apparently I gotta find a current bush to plug this into. Oh the hard drive's coming alive, hey we have post. Oh let's see if it kept my settings on here. Yes, it held settings. 24 hours of had any power on it. They held everything. Nice. Yeah, I don't need to write anything to CMOS. Yes, I want to quit without saving. Oh, listen to those drives wake up. Whopping 384 Shadow Ram, 128 cash on a 40 megahertz CPU. We're cooking now. Oh, Logitech. Oh, Sound Blaster. Hey, driver's already set up here. I wonder if it has DOS shell. Oh, score! Sadly, this was my second experience with DOS. It was DOS shell. AKA DOS as hell. There we go. There's what we want to play with. Demo, huh? A parrot. Let's see what the parrot is. Okay. Hello there. I'm a talking parrot. I don't have a mic on here, so, uh... Ow! Ouch! Ouch! Ow! Ouch! Ouch! I'm not touching you! I'm hitting the keyboard! Ouch! Ouch! Don't touch me. What? Are you laughing? I can't, I don't have a mic. I'm a talking parrot. Ouch. Ouch. Bye. Have What? I'm gonna play that one more time. I think that changes the voice. I'm 
have a talking parrot. Yeah, I'm done with that. Pro org. More ah. ah. Okay. All night. Okay. Well, since it's coming up on Christmas, why not? Let's see what this is. Okay, I'm done. I will, uh, I can see myself playing this when I was younger. Like, 30 years ago. <laughs> I would have been seven. <laughs> no. Crap, I can't remember how old I am. Anyway, seven or eight. Okay. <laughs> uh, how do I leave? Quit, quit. F8, what's F8? Ah! Any toggle. Dang it, there's more to play with here? Ah! Oh, okay, fine, yes. Quit F4, there you go. Why is it always F4? Always gonna be F4. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> Demo. It's gonna be fun.
guy has a voice of somebody off of a yacht. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's the end. Yay! I'll start this over again, so... Push it! It flops out. You pull it out. You lift the lid. I got a copy of a copy of a copy of the original. Don't ask me where the heck I put that original at. Interplay, 10 years. That's basically the best of the 10 years, I think. I can't remember. Close it. Now we get some super fast single speed CD-ROM action here. Oh, which drive is it? Is it D? I think it's D. D for CD. Lightning speed! Oh. Hey! I should get a drink of water before all that finished. Oh, hello, BC Buzz or Mario demo? Huh? Uh, Viking? Ooh, that's a rough one. All right, Brad's Tale, Castles, Lord. Hey, Star Trek. There's some classic DOS here. Now ask me a few questions, huh? Blood type, enter. Oh. Nope, BGA. Uh, sure. Uh, sure. Oh, no, 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 no. We got the pro. I think I broke it. So blinky though. Caps locks on. Turns off, on, off, on, off, on, off. Hmm. <laughs> oh, it ain't working. Reboot. Don't need no stinking reset button. You can control it, delete it. Great directory. S T A R. There. Now, find directory. I keep forgetting there's no wheel on this mouse. It's messing me up, man. Let's see what Turbo does. I don't know if Turbo's on or Turbo's off. Turn turbo light off. I think it slowed down. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention to how it was set up originally. Uh, drag to. Oh. Okay. Up. 
copy. Wow. <laughs> Single speed at its greatest. Hey, it came back. Probably gonna get hit with copyright on this. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the lost ship. Ah, oh, Enterprise. It's a five year mission, which lasted three seasons. For Kirk to seek out new life. Boldly go where no man has gone before. Yada yada yada, designed by a bunch of people, programmed by two, additional programming by three others to fix their problems, and two people that drew lines. Music adopted by the Fat Man Dave. Oh yes! Yes! That is a good thing for you guys to look up. That is the Fat Man. Fat Man Mitty? I believe. Who actually started the standardized Mitty. Captain's Log. He is lost. Many surprises to be prepared. We are conducting a mock battle with the USS Republic. Weapons will be set to minimal strength and the ship's computers will simulate. Ready to begin, Captain. Okay. Oh, oh, oh! Where is it? Where is it? I'm lost. Where's the map? Yeah, he's behind me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me another shot. Better luck next time, sir. Fire fleet out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where am I going? I'm trying to turn around. Computer, Z. Help. Ah. Warp. Three. Ah. Hey, found a planet. Oh boy. Stay centered. So everybody is very aware. Can't fire on it. Can't do nothing. Oh! 
There we go. I am firing on a unknown plant it. Plant it. That is rotating way too fast to have anybody stay on it. Your days have got to be like in 20 seconds or less, if that. No. Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. Time to get out of here. Quit. 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 Oh. There we go. There's a photon torpedoes at this. The planet will not be destroyed. I didn't like it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what topic is there for anything? since I played that last, and I still don't remember how to play it. I found the exit key combo. That <laughs> works for every DOS game out there. Control all delete. Okay. Uh, so I found this game World. I'm doing the setup right now. Ooh. Someday. Anyway. Uh, pro audio car, sound blaster card. I guess it's fast, so I think it's faster than 2 megahertz. Keyboard. Okay. Uh, World.exe. I'm just going to proceed. Oh yes, out of this world. This is a weird one. And I hated this game. He's on music, though. He's up to trouble. I don't know what he's going to do. Sound like a toilet, well, it's not an elevator. Thank you for calling customer support. Well, well that's going to cause cancer. What else does this thing find? Ah, the key! Can 
Fat Computer Incorporated, all rights reserved. See DOS version. No, oh, I want one on. Okay, going as around and around and around and around. Oh, well, oh, well, oh, it hit the lab. Ah, here go boom. left a hole. Where'd George go? I don't know. There's a hole. Oh, I guess I'm playing. What are you looking at over there, red eyes? That's right, run away. Skip, but I skip, just skip. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, if I remember right, I can't go that way. Yeah, just skip it along, skip it along. End of the next scene. Ooh, I don't want to hit that. That thing looks like it could bite me. Ha! <laughs> Miss me! Oh, God, there's more. Ah! You got me! I'm dead. Oh, 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 I'm dead. Let me. Oh, no. Wow, he hit his head hard. Yeah, I know I drowned it, because I, I don't want to. So let's uh, give you a little demonstration of Jill 3 on here. Uh, it will not play all the way through. I have some issues going on with the uh, memory settings on here. I either need to... Add more cash, which I'm a little hesitant on this one. Or upgrade the RAM, which I'll probably do that. Just because whenever you get so far in Jill 3, so you're either playing with the soundboard or well, the noisemaker, what they have on here. Then you go to play the game, and you get ready to start it, and it crashes. I mean, it hard lock. Can't go any further. So we got an issue going on there. But I can at least let you hear the music to it. Sounds quite pleasant. A 
will let me go so far. I can get into that, but once you get rid, exit the other level, it kicks you out. But as you can see, it sounds nice. Quite enjoyable, actually. Real sound blaster sound. So I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, December episode. I plan on doing one, maybe two more of these episodes. <laughs> funny how you just let us sit and she just gets very impatient. Just typical. Just typical. <laughs> so yeah. It's been quite a bit of fun. I hope to uh, see you guys in the next video. The next one will be definitely more fun. So that's where the memory's sitting at right now. It's not bad. At least you got six, 600k. So definitely run uh, Wolfenstein quite well. Even Spirit Destiny would play very nicely on this. For some reason I'm just having issues with Jill. Temperamental. And I know for a fact Jill will run on the 386. No problem, because that's why I played it on years ago. It was an old 386, 20 megahertz or 25 megahertz, one of the two. It was very similar to the other Tandy 386 I have. Anyway, enough of me rambling on. Stay safe. Keep away from the idiots. There's a lot of them out there. Bye.